Hi, hello, it's me and I'm here with a new video about uh, depression and inflammation, double trouble. That sounds cool, like quite attractive test, uh, not test topic, quite attractive uh, manuscript topic and <laughs> compared to others because and the author is from the from the US. Um, so they probably invest, uh, search the relationship between depression and inflammation. Depression represents the number one cause of disability worldwide and is often fatal. Inflammatory processes have been implicated in the pathophysiology of depression. Um, indeed, and, and I mentioned in my previous videos too, it's very popular and and it's directly related, not, not really uh, indirectly related. It's now well established that dysregulation of both the innate and adaptive immune systems occur in depressed patients and hinder favorable prognosis, including antidepressant responses. It is interesting. So it prevents antidepressant response. It affects antidepressant response. I'm curious if there are references to support this. I don't know, but probably supports. In this review, we describe how the immune system regulates mood and the potential causes of the dysregulated inflammatory responses in depressed patients. However, the proportion of never treated major depressive disorder patients who exhibit inflammation remains to be clarified, as the heterogeneity in inflammation findings may stem in part from examining MDD patients with varied interventions. Inflammation is likely a critical disease modifier, promoting susceptibility to depression. And um, interesting uh, sentence and promoting susceptibility to depression, like emphasizing the article. Controlling inflammation might provide an overall therapeutic benefit. In fact, it can easily make them happy, regardless of whether it is secondary to early life trauma a more acute response, stress response, microbiome alterations, a genetic diatesis, or a combination of these and other factors. So this is good abstract, I guess. It's attractive abstract too. And um, it was well cited article published in Neuron Journal. And it's, quite, it's actually, as a topic, not very original. You know, there are many articles. And uh, the, I assume that this is uh, they comp uh, they synthesize the information well here in this article, and they um, mention the biomarkers related to stuckiness and their per peripheral immune functions and blood levels. So, and there are authors of those articles. If I'm a reviewer, I will I will do suggest them to bring other um, references maybe because why this reference was sort of emphasized there anyway because there must be other authors why they all use the same group uh, studies anyway it's not very important so there are other uh, figures to support the study here we see the figure, inflammasome, immune cell, um, and uh, possible molecular basis of inflammation in, in the major depressive disorders, and how um, well, it's quite lengthy article, uh, they, they must spend all of time. And, uh, finally, and of considerable importance, is an important fundamental philosophical difference that has plucked this field. We are referring to some who simply believe that peripheral measures of immune dysfunction and inflammation are at best epiphenomena and are in no way related to the pathophysiology of depression. Okay. They dismiss the evidence of increased inflammatory markers in depressed patients and central nervous system effects of induced inflammation as interesting, but certainly not causal, obviously. Um, so, they 
really critically evaluate the relationship between depression and inflammation and thank you for watching this video and if you if i mention more i feel like i it's like copyright problem or something so i just want to stop there and if you're more interested in you can read this great article and see you bye bye